In this video, we're looking at how to configure SAML with Azure AD on Cloud Connexum. As you can see, I'm logged into admin user interface. And in order to configure our SAML, we need to expand uh, settings and then go to user authentication. As you can see right now, our SAML is disabled. So go ahead, click on edit on the upper right corner. And then we're going to choose SAML. And let's go ahead and update this so we can enable it and then confirm and here we go now our SAML is enabled so let's go ahead and edit and then click on a view IDP configuration there are a couple of pieces of information here we need this uh, for later on just make a note of it we're going to come back to it uh, in a minute let's head out to our Azure portal and then click on uh, manage Microsoft Entry ID now click on Enterprise Applications, and then here we want to add a new application. So go ahead, click on New Application. Then we're going to click on Create uh, Your Own Application. And then uh, once the window is open, OK, here we go. We're going to give a name to our application. So here I'm just going to call it uh, CC Summer, for example. And then we want to make sure the last option where it says integrate any other application you don't find in the gallery, non-gallery, select it. Then click on Create. OK, our CC SAML is created. Now, uh, the next step is uh, set up our single sign-on. So go ahead, click on uh, option two, set up single sign-on. And then uh, we're going to choose the SAML option, which is the second option here. Now, as you can see, the basic SAML configuration, there are some required fields that we need to complete. So let's go ahead and uh, click on Edit on the right side of the box. And then we need to enter these information here, the identifier and reply URL. So if you remember a minute ago, when we were on uh, Cloud Connects uh, portal or admin UI, uh, I mentioned the two pieces of information that we need. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side window here, and we're going to add our identifier first. And that's our issuer name. So let's copy this and head back to add, uh, Azure portal and paste that here. So we added our identifier here. The next thing is adding reply URL, which is our SSO URL. So copy that again, and we're going to add that here on Azure portal. The rest of the stuff is optional. If you need to do uh, add them, go ahead, add them, then click on Save. OK, everything is saved. So let's head back to our Azure portal again. We need to scroll down and get the link uh, that it says App uh, Federation Metadata URL. That's under SAML certificates. So let's go ahead, copy that. And then on Cloud Connects our portal, we're going to click on Next. So we can move to the second step, which is provide our IDP. And here, I'm just going to give it a name. Uh, let's call it Azure SAML. And then uh, I do have the metadata URL. So I'm going to select that and paste that URL here. And then we're going to click on Next. And as you can see, everything is imported correctly. So click on Complete. OK, our SAML is enabled. Now let's look at the user experience when they try to log into the Cloud Connect and get connected. So let me bring up the Connect app, and we're going to uh, create a new profile. So here we go, the uh, Connect app is here. Click on plus sign to create a profile. I'm going to type the address, click Next. We're going to get redirected to a browser so we can authenticate with our um, Azure credentials. So here I'm going to type uh, my email address and then click on Next. We're going to get redirected to our uh, company's sign-in page. And then here, I'm going to type my email address again and the password and click on uh, Sign In. Again, uh, these are the steps that we need to take in, in order to import our profile into the Connect app. As you can see, it's preparing. Now we need to choose our uh, region. Again, this is the very first time we do this. So click on Next. And uh, we need to confirm to open the uh, Connect app here. And as you can see, it's downloading the profile or importing the profile. The profile is here. So from now on, a user needs to just toggle the switch to get uh, connected. So I'm going to do this here. And as you can see, it takes a second, and we are connected. And if you look at the Connect app, it shows connected. Again, these are the steps that we need to go through 
for the very first time when we try to import our profile into the connector. From now on, a user needs to connect to Cloud Connexa. All they have to do is just open up the Connect app and toggle the switch uh, to get connected. One last thing I'm going to show you here. Uh, when a user establishes connection with uh, Cloud Connexa, if we go to the user section of the admin UI, we're going to see that user has been added to the list. As you can see here, it is added and it shows the authentication method is SAML. So this was a quick video on how to configure SAML with Azure AD and Cloud Connexa. Thank you very much.